rules. I don't know anything about it, but my boyfriend is trying to qualify for the champions. Something, champions. That's it, food champions, let's do it and look at my new toy. Oh. Braimi from Porto. It's almost as cheap as Danilo because no one is using Liga Nos and look at that. Perfect link, not perfect, but strong link. I'm going with uh, mainly Porto oh. squad this time. Let's go! After that beautiful co-presentation with MJ, we come up against this squad. It's an hybrid Liga Nos and Portuguese. Everyone is Liga Nos apart from Eder, our national hero. His goal won us the World, uh, the Euro Cup against France. What a moment for me! And Andre Silva, which has a really nice card, but it's a rare. And in this game, you'll see why it's a nice card. Anyway, no spoilers, right? We scored the first goal really early and, well, not really early, 20 minutes, but it was being an easy game. It was attack, attack, attack. The other guy didn't even have the ball. Basically, we didn't see a lot of us destroying yet. And yeah, a lot of gaps in the fence and Dumbia with an amazing strike. Guys, I love Dumbia. Since I recorded this, I applied the Hunter card on him. Oh, it's not Dumbia, this is Abubakar, I'm sorry guys. Abubakar, well, he's not on my starting 11 anymore. He has 5-star skills, but apart from that, not, not great. I would recommend you Suarez as a backup for Dumbia. Anyway, here, this is the exact moment where the acid is trying to start. Beautiful Tiki Taka. But right after that, we go to attacking in this area and we get a penalty. It was really obvious and look at this beautiful penalty. The goalkeeper had no chance. He jumped pretty far, but even if he jumped more, he wouldn't reach the ball. It was just too wide. And now this is what you call an ass destroying counterattack. I'll let you just watch. I wasn't expecting it. I mean, where's my defense? Look, Andre Silva alone. I mess up. I, I Maybe I thought it was offside, but I, st I stopped running. And then it was too late and Andre Silva gets the score to 3-2. So it's a pretty interesting game. This game's pre-patch were crazy. There were so many goals and Patricio. I love Patricio and this is not even the inform, which is out already. I. He's my favorite goalkeeper in real life for his character, for what he represents for Portugal, for what he represents for sporting. He's like our Francesco Totti, a one-man club. I hope he stays there, here, until he finishes his career. Anyway, back to the game. We're 3-3 and this is, this is uh, minute 94, so it's already extra time. And we go down and I was, you know, I was afraid... I was petrified, <laughs> I was afraid that I wouldn't win it, but, but then Bas Dost who is incredibly slow, but is really strong and it has a deadly shot, it's great for deciding games, he gives us the 4-4 and in the 120th minute he gets the bar and the game is over, we go to penalties, but this is good news guys, I love penalties, uh, last year I used to win them all. And yeah, great Patricia, well done. But this year there's something, there's a trick and I'm going to tell you. While you're shooting, while the, your player is running, if, you, if you're pointing to the left, your player will look to the left. If you're pointing to the right, it will look to the right. If he's not pointing anywhere, if it's going to straight, you know, in the middle, it will just look there. If you pay attention, you can see it so. In a penalty shootout, you kind of have to understand if the other guy knows this trick or not. Uh, because if you look to one side and then shoot to the other, you'll fool him. And yeah, basically that's it. And I figured this guy didn't know. And I, yeah, spoiler alert, but I won this penalty shootout. Even with Patricio, you know, every time I get the side, he still doesn't get the ball. But then João Mario, is it João Mario? It looks like João Mario, maybe it's Brahimi. Anyway, we win 
and I dab. I'm sorry I dabbed. I was just happy. For me, dabbing is a happy thing. It's, a, it's for happy moments. It's not to fuck you to the opponent. So if I dab, if you see me dab, don't get too mad. I don't do it too often. Anyway, Vincent Babubakar, man of the match. And we go to the next game against Rep City. Culture away team. So we go to the second game of the daily knockout tournament and we want to win. I, I attacked a lot straight away and I tried to score a screamer with Jelson Martins. He can amaze you sometimes, so you know, you have to try impossible stuff to him because sometimes he will do it. Other times, just happens. Good enough, a goal is a goal and we go ahead. We deserved it as well. We were attacking so much, I remember this game. But then, you know, FIFA any counter-attack can be super deadly and we go 1-1 and I'm afraid this guy could, you know, he defends well and he could, yeah. But look at this, Acuna Matata, the magician. He, he has a lot of balance, he has strength and he has speed. He doesn't just get out muscle, so it's a great, great one to have in your team. I really recommend him. And Jelson making another one and 2-1, a beautiful Tiki Taka goal as well. And we keep with the dribbling, we keep with the beautiful play, the Joga Bonito and the Tiki Taka and boom, 3-1, is it Jelson? No, it's Dumbia, our striker. This guy with the 100 card, man, he is so deadly. But in the last minute, another counter attack leaves us at 3-2, so... We go on to the semi-finals, but no game is an easy game. This daily knockout tournament promises to be hard. And for the third game, we come against this Spanish team. And Acuna, I'm pretty sure that was a penalty. How come that wasn't a penalty? And yeah, we just keep trying to attack with Acuna. Such a great player. He gets it to Jelson. No one catch Jelson. He's the fastest man in the world and he has a great finishing well i wouldn't say stats because that will be a lie but he finishes everything for me before the patch anyway after the patch i have to say he's being a bit you know failing some chances but that's just because the goalkeepers are better i guess and this guy <laughs> patricio you can really count on him on goal but we get the penalty matthew Matthew, mm -hmm. yeah, I, I kind of guess the side there, you know I have the trick for the penalties, but sometimes your goalkeeper just won't move and will start blaming the game, blaming EA, and we go 2-1 down with the Portuguese Gameiro, well he's French, but he's half Portuguese, his surname is Portuguese, I really wish he played for us, we, we need better strikers, I mean, Eder, <laughs> he saved us for the World Cup, but... We need someone great. I hope Andre Silva from AC Milan is the next big thing. But I hope he starts to play more because AC Milan are not playing him so much. Anyway, I digress. Back to the game. I have this little trick for corners. I guess you, you know it. If you don't, I will explain how I do it next time. And we go 3-2 ahead. Another really hard game. There's really... This FIFA is not easy. Every game it's being hard and this is the first you know first weekend league so all the good players are in the daily knockout tournament and it's hard to get past them and don't forget there's the squad battle so my you know my my way of thinking is average players are playing the squad battles because it's guaranteed you know rewards profit and the best players are going straight to the weekend league, which is what we are trying to do here on our struggle to glory road to elite. And as I just spoke about our dreams, they get destroyed and we go 4-3 down. Is it Gamero again? No, it's Calejon. No easy game. St. Jelson, what a beautiful touch he has. But sadly, we couldn't finish our chance. And Calejon, with all his speed, is alone and <laughs> he manages to miss it. I bet you thought that was a goal. I did too during the game. But that gives us a little bit of hope and doom beyond the attack using his 3 star skills or 4 star skills, I don't know. And who is it that scored? It's Bruno Fernandes, I think. 
I'm not sure guys, I'm sorry, I can't remember, but we are 4-4 four, four. and 4-4, four, 4-5, four, four, no! <laughs> we failed this chance which will give us the chance to play in the final basically and we go to extra time and we, you know, you know how extra time is 5-4 down again, look at the scores, 4-4 four, four in the first game 3-2 on the second one and we are we are already with nine goals on this game, and we don't get the we don't get the tenth and the very needed equalizer, and we lose in the semi-final. And it's time for Plan B. I couldn't show you my way to the final because we lost when I had the chance and time to play live, so I had to play these games on my own in the morning. Thank you so much, and thank you. Thanks again for showing us the results. And we go to our very first daily knockout tournament final and we come up against this very strong very physical very overpowered premier league team and we go straight down and i don't know who is this guy but i hate this celebration i was annoyed already you know how tense a final can be and this guy was a really good player and he sure knew how to I, I hate Deli Ali I hate his face I couldn't see it properly but what do you think guys do we give up after a 2-0 no way we do some tiki taka and Acuna Matata no worries we're back in the game 2-1 and <laughs> my favorite celebration that sometimes gets your players injured we're back in the game 2-1 there's hope but this guy is too good and I try to for just fall son he doesn't fall, he, he just passed through everything, through the fences, through the billboard, look at that, sun is still magical, and this is the, you know, the non-inform, non-special rare sun, I can't imagine when he gets like the 7th special card like last year, I hope he doesn't, honestly, he was too overpowered, it was fun to use, but yeah, it was too much, we're 4-1 down and we get the penalty, and look, I look to the left and I shoot to the right, you know the penalty trick guys i have thought you i hope you can try it yourselves and tell me if it works for you it works wonders for me but what doesn't work for me is this final we're five two down there's almost no hope but we're still giving our best it's a final and this was a beautiful goal i know it looks like that was a, a failed shot that jelson just uh, managed to tap in but it was actually a pass and i was amazed at myself such a beautiful pass and 5-4 there will be hope but it's the last minute already and we lose the first final so off camera right in the next morning i made my way to another final and i wanted to show you this because look at the striker we are using loan ronaldo to help us in the final this time and only using him if i get to the final anyway second final in a row and another op premier league team which is just not in the finals that you find them you find them pretty much in every game we go one nil up and ronaldo does this what do you think about this celebration guys i I love the celebration itself, but I just find that sound so stupid. And here we score not with Ronaldo, but Pidgey, and he does my very own trademark celebration. I find it so funny. Look at me laughing like an idiot on the on the corner. And here, look at this wonder goal at the screamer by Ronaldo. And it's a screamer and he screams. Here he goes. Man, it's so ridiculous. And then 3-0, I can't lose, right? Wrong, let me tell you guys, right here, it's all started to crumble. I was so confident I was going to make it to the final, but the series wouldn't be called Struggle to Glory without, without a little bit of struggle. Can I save the penalty for my life? Yes, I can! Rui Patricio, what a, what a keeper, but this happens i i can't do anything about it and we go down on the final we were three nil up and then we we you know we, we started with a very offensive minded game and a lot of gaps were just opened we go three five down we go six three down no hope and to be fair this guy was an amazing player it didn't look like in the beginning but yes yeah, seven three that's embarrassing and the game 
finishes at the embarrassing score of 7-3. Sadly, there was no more time this week to play more games in the daily knockout tournament. You know I have a busy life and, and it's a struggle really to, to find time to, to play, to record. And sadly, we are going to miss the first weekend league, but don't worry guys, I will get back on the hunt next week. Anyway, it's a sad episode, I'm sorry I didn't make it, guys. I will do my best next week, and you will see everything on my channel. So look forward to it, I look forward to record it to you. And guys, that's all for today, thanks for watching, and see you next time, bye bye!